Hi everybody and welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. I'm Mark and I've been teaching people how to scuba dive for well over 10 years now. So you'll probably recognize me from the Simply Scuba channel and even my own channel, Safe Diving. For this video series, I'm going to be going back to the basics of scuba diving so that if you're just starting out or even if you're just feeling a little bit rusty, you can dive back in fresh in the knowledge in the scuba diving basics. If you enjoyed this video and find it useful, then don't forget to like and share it online so that your diving friends can see it as well and brush up on their skills. If you have any comments, questions, queries, or even corrections at any part of the video, then let us know down in the comments below and we, or even our community, will help you out. So let's get into it. Okay, so there are a few ways of attaching your tank to your um, to your BCD, but most divers will use something like this, and this is a cam band. So cam bands will be made from a two inch webbing strap just like this, and either a metal or a plastic buckle that's usually fitted to the back of your BCD. The buckle should look something like this, which clamps down the strap onto your tank nice and tight so it doesn't slip. So the first thing that you need to know about cam bands is that just like me, they work best when they're wet. So you see, when the fibers of the belt are nice and dry, there's a lot of friction between these fibers. So the belt's actually quite tight. As soon as they get wet, the fibers are a little bit lubricated so they can loosen up a little bit and they can move. It's only gonna be a little bit, but it can be enough to make the band a smidge longer so the tank can actually slip a bit as soon as you hit the water. So the first thing that you need to do is splash some water on the cam band so it's nice and wet for the best fit. Because this isn't straightforward as your, uh, your standard belt buckle around your trousers, but luckily they're all basically the same. So if you've been handed a rental BCD or you've undone your cam band whilst you're cleaning it and can't figure out how to re-thread it, here's how. Okay, so threading your cam band, yes, it can feel a bit complicated, but actually you only really have to do two things. And um, the first thing I'm gonna say is there's always a little trick to it. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do with a metal buckle because it's a bit easier to see, um, but most of the, um, of the cam bands out there will actually tell you how to thread them. So this one, for example, you can see it has numbers on it and the numbers are telling you how to thread it, uh, sort of which slot to put it through first. First. Others, they might have a little diagram just on the side. So if you've been given a rental BCD uh, or your cam band has come undone for whatever reason and you can't quite figure it out, just take a moment to look at the buckle and there might actually be a diagram of how to do it. But it is very, very easy. Um, the first thing is, is that you need to um, sort of identify the three different slots. You're gonna have two nice and close to one another and then one on the end. You can basically ignore the one on the end because you don't do that until you're actually fitting it to a tank. It's these two that are nice and close together. These are the ones that you're going to be focusing on. So this one, I've taken it off a of BCD just so you can see. Um, and the method is exactly the same for the plastic buckle. Um, and all it is, is straighten out the, uh, the two inch webbing strap because you don't want any sort of twists and turns. And then when you're approaching it, so first of all, you go underneath the buckle and then you're gonna come up through the middle slot. So give yourself a bit of slack and then poke it up through the middle slot. And then you're gonna go back on yourself and you're gonna go back through the second slot. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much there. So at this point, you can adjust it to the size of your tank. Uh, so this one is gonna be a huge tank. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to shorten this strap. I'm actually gonna fit this to my actual BCD and then show you how to tighten this strap, get it the right size for your scuba tank and then how to clamp it down properly. So now that your cam band is actually threaded correctly, let's attach your tank nice and tight to the back of your BCD.
Okay, so now I've fitted the cam band onto my BCD. Uh, you'll notice that I have two cam bands. If you get the, uh, the option to have two cam bands, then I definitely recommend it. It's just a bit of redundancy, um, but it also helps so that uh, it keeps your tank nice and straight so it doesn't kind of shimmy and wobble around on your back. It feels really nice and secure. Um, so a lot of BCDs, they'll only have one cam band, which is perfectly fine. Um, but if they don't have the option for a second cam band, they'll often have a leash uh, sort of up around the uh, sort of top section of the BCD and that's just a little um, sort of strap that goes around the tank valve itself I'd always recommend that so when you first put your BCD on that's kind of the first thing that I do that just acts as a redundant backup for your main cam band and um, it sort of also helps with that wobble it stops your, uh, your tank from kind of shimming around but if your cam band should fail for whatever reason it's always wrapped around the tank valve so it can't go too far so if you're fitting your cam band to your BCD, I like to put the buckle as close to the, uh, the back plate as possible. If you have it all the way around on the other side, you just end up with a lot of kind of flapping around uh, with the edge uh, or the end of your, um, of your cam bands. So if you can put it as close to the back plate as possible, it just means you have less kind of slack moving around. Um, I don't actually have Velcro attached onto my, um, onto my cam bands, but a lot of cam bands do, and that just means that um, you can sort of stick it down so it doesn't uh, sort of stop flapping around. Uh, but I'll talk about that later. So I'm going to grab a tank, uh, I'm just going to slot it through these two, and then we're going to uh, sort of tighten it up properly. So when you're fitting your cylinder uh, sort of onto your BCD, a lot of the times, first of all, it will be upright. Um, it's quite hard for me to film upright, so I'm doing it on a desk so you can see. Um, but you want the, uh, the tank valve, this section of it, to be kind of in line with the top of your BCD. Um, you can sort of fiddle around with this sort of at your leisure and sort of find the perfect height. You don't want it too high because then if you do a giant stride entry or if you look up during uh, sort of any part of the dive, it's just going to sort of clonk on the back of your head. You don't want it too low because then your hoses are gonna be a bit sort of shrouded. So um, yeah, find that kind of perfect sweet spot for you. Um, I just find it's kind of there uh, sort of when it's on my BCD. So then we need to tighten our, our cam bands. So when they're in this state and uh, you've only sort of threaded it through slots one and two, this is how you adjust for size. So remember to uh, sort of wet it first, and then what we're going to do is, with one hand, just kind of hold onto the um, the cam band itself around your tank. Your other hand is grabbing hold of the uh, sort of long, loose section, and you're just pulling them so it's really nice and tight. And then once you get it as tight as you can, you might need a friend to help you out, um, lift up on the buckle, and that kind of pinches it so um, that strap can't pull through. But trying to lift that and leave that over is quite hard, so that's what our third slot is for. You use the remainder of this, um, of this webbing, pull that through the final slot, that's why it's right on the end, make sure it's nice and tight, and then use all of that as a big lever to clamp it down. And that's the noise that you're listening for. You want a real clunk when you do it. If it just goes, <laughs> it's not tight enough, and that's a technical term, um, you want it really nice and tight so your tank doesn't slip around. You still have all this excess material, so if you have Velcro, Velcro it down. If you don't, just try and tuck it away as best you can, just so that nothing can grab hold of it and undo it for whatever reason. Now I'm gonna do that again with the, uh, the top cam band. So holding onto the top section, pull that strap as tight as you can, and then lifting up on that buckle, and that's gonna pinch that um, sort of strap so it doesn't move around. Thread the remainder of your cam band through there, and then tighten it up, keep it really nice and tight, and then use that as a lever to wrench it up and over, and then tuck away any excess. So now your tank should be really nice and secure. It's not gonna move around anymore, but uh, I like to double check so I kind of take the, uh, the whole thing off of the bench and then holding onto kind of the shoulder straps or something, just give it a little kind of shake and see if the tank shimmies. If it moves a little bit, it might mean that you might need to uh, sort of tighten up those straps again. Um, if it doesn't, 
you're probably good to go. Taking them off is just as easy. Um, so grab hold of that uh, sort of excess, give that a good yank, and that will undo it. And then all I typically do is unthread the first strap, that's as far as you need to go, and then I just kind of lift the bottom section of the, uh, of the buckle so it can feed a little bit of the strap, just so it loosens it up, just makes it a bit easier for the next dive to thread the next um, sort of tank into it. Um, and then all you have to do is just tighten it a little bit and then clamp it down so you're ready for the next dive. So that's how you fit a cam band to your tank properly with a standard cam band. Now you can also find some other styles of cam bands like these from some manufacturers uh, such as Scuba Pro Cinch Cam Band uh, or even Aqualine's Grip Lock which use a kind of simpler two-part system that you don't have to thread quite so complicated. You just need to adjust a bit of Velcro to your tank size and then clamp it down. Atomic also have a new unique approach to solving this problem and that's a little bit more like a snowboard binding. It's a one-way ratchet strap and then a clamp that kind of keeps it nice and tight. So these are a bit faster to fit but they work in an ever so slightly different way but you'll only really see these on the sort of higher end BCDs. But yeah, now you've brushed up on one of your scuba diving basic skills, why don't you check out one of our other basic skills videos and of course don't forget to like and subscribe to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel and ring that notification bell so that you're notified the instant we release a new video. Okay, so now you're a bit savvier with your scuba diving basics. Don't forget to subscribe to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel to stay up to date with the latest scuba diving news and advice, and don't forget to put your comments down below in the comments. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.